Hello everyone. This is the first part of year one, or maybe year two. I've got a message from Van Roos saying, Greetings from your cousins in Van Roos. Though there lies a great distance between us, I'm sure we can find peace. Alas, Jotunheim lies between us, so our long-awaited reunion shall have to wait. Yeah, um, didn't find any magic sites. There was a battle over here with my prophet in the swamp. Swamp of Filth. I've been skipping too many battles, so you can watch these vans massacre these guys. They throw their damn javelins every time. Yeah, just a just some mop up there. Wait, I actually lost two vans. What the hell? What did I lose two vans to? Friendly fire. No, what? Oh, you know it's it's it must have been blood loss, wasn't it? What? How are my vans dead? Oh, right. Yes, yes. I, duh. I have Undying on my Bless. So, they're still alive at negative hit points because they have an additional six fake Undying hit points. But, yeah, then they die after the battle. So, alright. Yeah, whatever. But, check this out. Pythium attacking Agartha. And not with any, like, shitter, you know, trash bin army. Like, this is a serious freaking force. He's brought a lot to bear here. He's even got an owl quill out on the battlefield. A ton of communicants. Six of them. Um, yeah, three mages. Three uh, big mages. Not, like, shitters, either. Uh, and his prophet. A couple uh, emerald lords, who are also very expensive elite commanders. A host of gladiators. And these troops are not all trash. You know, he's got Stadi. There's some there are some trash, but you know, it's a it's an army. And he's casting spells. Word of power. Yeah, I mean it's like a big smite doomsday bless. So you um you put your mages in a communion, and as you can see, like, oh, you know, it's boosting your magic paths, you know. So, okay, you can cast more powerful spells, but also it boosts your priest levels, too, by the way, in case you did not know that. So, these, uh, these mages actually become very powerful at casting Smite, you know, the offensive priest spell. So, Pythium is... Not uh, not fooling around, you know, with this assault here. I mean, he did lose five gladiators, so it was not free. But he is definitely going after Agartha. It remains to be seen if it's enough. But um, is this guy, uh, yeah, only priest level one. These marrow stand no chance, no shot, just wiped out. Only lost one. I got a free 10 defense, and there is a deathmatch competition next turn. I'm gonna be honest, I believe when I was playing this game, I just ignored this event even happened. I didn't even uh, think about it, just breezed right on past it, so I don't believe I sent anyone to go fight in the arena. I did get another, uh, another Earth 3 dwarf, which is cool, just having him research though. probably. Yeah, I could probably stand to have him sight search around. Um, I'm taking a couple of the vans that I was going to infiltrate Pythium with, and I'm just taking this stuff. You know, like, nobody's going to stop me from taking these provinces, so just, you know, just go for it. It's free. Um, and I'm actually moving this unit over here to Agartha, because I'm considering, you know, hey, maybe I should move into Agartha's land and take Agartha's stuff. Um, but we'll see what this army is doing. I assume they're going to go to 243. You know, that's the uh, that's the intention. I'm still 
talking to both of them saying like hey do you want me on your side or do you want me on your side you know how much are you uh you know how much help do you need i'm i can come to your aid my friend my my good steadfast ally pythium slash agartha <laughs> um and you know i'm being definitely opportunistic but i i do whoever wins the war i i will help them you know like if i if i say i'm you know going to make an nap with you i'm not gonna break the nap but if i don't well uh i'm trying to rehire the shipwreckers honestly probably not not bidding enough on that um end desperately trying to cope with his war against marignon and I'm just continuing to take the sea provinces. These guys are uh, definitely already paid for themselves with this one province alone. And I've got a lab down here. Started recruiting my first Jade Sorceress. She'll be able to site search for these rare paths uh, as far as Vanarus is concerned, or Vanheim is concerned. And just making some more humans because I've got a huge amount of gold and a uh, Finally making a Vanyarl. Probably should have made one much earlier than now. Is anything else happening of note? Um, these frogs have just been sitting here, which is worrisome. I don't know what they're doing. I don't know why they're there. Maybe he's gearing up for a big attack on 143. We shall see, because I'm moving a scout down there. Um, I, I can actually see some of Marignan's land now. Ah, yes, so now I know why some of those flags were in gray. It wasn't because they were Indy provinces. It was because Naba took them. So, obviously, immediately upon seeing that, I uh, go to Abyssia and I tell him, like, Hey, Naba, big threat, you know. They're scary elves. They're genies. They have powerful magic. They're a really strong nation. You should be afraid. You, They're a threat. They're a threat. Not me. Um, I don't know if, uh, Vissia believed me, but, you know, it's just, uh, it's good to reaffirm people's maybe presumed beliefs. Here is Micklin in the most unthematic location they could possibly spawn. I mean, there's Heat 3 in Micklin, but, I mean, look at it. Oh, whatever. Um, I'm gonna go pick up these guys here in 275. Is there anything else happening here? How's the research? Still not gonna get construction 2 on turn 14. Still won't have it. Really not good. Yeah, these dwarves are just not a good choice. I mean, of course, they will eventually be a good choice, and I need them to site search to some extent, but definitely needed needed to get a lab need to get a freaking temple on this province i mean i built a fort and i built a fort on time but also a reason you build a fort that early is so you can start producing mages and keep your research on par with everybody else but if you just don't do that then it's like oh i guess i'm actually behind it's turn 13 i'm not gonna produce a single mage this turn oh that's not true I'm going to produce one. But, you know, I've basically been producing half a mage for the past six turns with these freaking dwarves. I don't, I don't like that play that I did. It seems very bad that I did that. Very weak. Uh, I got a slave market down here. Gives me three blood slaves. That's great. Going to be able to use those. And it's good to start building that supply up. Thankfully, there's a lot of gray flags over here. So I'm going to be able to get them. Now, of course, Naba is here, so maybe these aren't actually gray flags. Maybe Naba owns these, but, um, you know, I'm just hoping I'll be able to take more stuff, more land, take more provinces. I mean, if all goes well, I'll be taking another four provinces this turn. These two underwater and uh, this guy down here. Seems great. You know, I my empire is a disgusting spread out mess kind of look like a, a noodle um but i've almost got the mobility to move around it effectively 
Yeah, sort of. Unfortunately, uh, Abyssia came down here and took this province, so we'll not be able to hold that location. Um, yeah, it's a shame, but whatever. It was a smart move on his part, for sure. He, you know, sort of secured, uh, like, this sort of province that he can take at any time, or this one, he could take it at any time, and I can't oppose him because this mountain pass will never be uh, melted for me to pass through those five red dots. And um, that is the situation as of turn 13. Thank you for watching.